Coming off the smashing success of the Cornetto trilogy, Edgar Wright returns with Baby Driver, which has quickly become his biggest domestic hit at the box office and currently holds an eye-catching 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. But is it really worth seeing? As far as modern directors go, Edgar Wright is as unpretentious as they come. He's just the guy with a dorky fanboyish love for cinema that bleeds over into and informs every aspect of his personal projects. With Shaun of the Dead, he lampooned zombie movies, and Hot Fuzz was a tongue-in-cheek send-up of classic action movies. In Baby Driver, Wright switches up his approach and luxuriates in genre conventions rather than poking fun at them, and the film plays like a straight action movie. He knows we've heard this song before, but he also knows it has a catchy hook, so he turns the volume up to 10 and runs with it. The result is one of the best films of the year so far. Ansel Elgert stars as Baby, a young kid who makes his living as a getaway driver for a crew of thieves. The entire film rests upon Elgert's shoulders, and while he still hasn't become a gushing fountain of charisma overnight since his Fault in Our Stars days, he's undeniably effective. Baby's an expert at what he does, stoic but confident in his ability, with a tragic backstory that is slowly unfolded throughout the course of the narrative. Similar to Wright's 2010 film Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, there's an essential musical component to Baby Driver, and Wright has clearly gone to great lengths in order to synchronize the action choreography with the groovy retro soundtrack, and it's an artistic move that completely pays off. The car chases are strikingly coherent, thrilling, and tactile, which is refreshing to see in a summer blockbuster season filled with weightless CG spectacle, and the razor sharpness of the editing here cannot be understated either. Wright's dialogue, on the other hand, is occasionally less than sharp, but it's rarely distracting. Baby Driver takes place in a sort of heightened reality, where the characters range from archetypes to cartoons, and the situations are unusual, but everything is still grounded enough for stakes to exist. John Hamm, Kevin Spacey, and Jamie Foxx get to have some fun hamming it up as unhinged sociopaths, switching from goofily macho to downright menacing on a dime, and Cinderella star Lily James is given a sweet, if underwritten, role as Baby's love interest. Wright makes expert use of location, collaborating with director of photography Bill Pope to make this seedy urban jungle environment look as gleaming and seductive as it is dangerous. In terms of story, Baby Driver might not offer many surprises, but sometimes it's nice to see a simple narrative executed by a director who knows exactly what he's doing. The film has a noticeably lower laugh count than Wright's previous films, but what it lacks in comedy, it makes up for in entertainment value. In a summer blockbuster season replete with uninspired duds and overpraised mediocrity, Baby Driver feels miraculous, reminding us not only what a quality blockbuster looks like, but also that conventionality isn't always a bad thing.